cyberbullying is against the law. There are laws that prohibit that. The people who continuously do that, you know, you're, you're, you're not happy with yourself. You must have a miserable life to sit there and want to do that every day to somebody. You know what I mean? And the thing is that karma is real. And, and the people that participate in cyberbullying, you know, if there's like one person that's the leader and you have all these people participating, karma's real. And the degrading that you do to that person is bad energy and negative energy, energy, excuse me, that will come back to you. It will come back to you. Fuck what a nigga say. Yeah, I'ma put the drip on the plate. Yeah, I'm an ice glaze, niggas. Rest in paradise to all the people and all the kids who've taken their lives over bullying. Whether it's physical or cyber, it's in paradise, man. That's so sad, man. If that would ever happen to my kids, man, and I couldn't do nothing about it, and I wouldn't be able to find out, and that were to happen to me, I would be devastated. So, what is up? Welcome back to the G Family, man. Today, we got a very, very important subject at hand: cyberbullying, whether it's physical or virtual, guys. It's gonna be a good video with good food. We at 7-Eleven. We making it happen. Stay to the end and let me know what your thoughts and opinions are on this critical subject. We must protect our kids, ourselves, everyone that we can from humiliation and degrading by these evil people who choose to hurt others with words or physicality. Yo, what is up, what is up? Welcome back to the G Family, man. Today, we're back with the 7-Eleven, bro. 7-Eleven mukbang. What? Gas station mukbang? Look at these nachos right here. Chili cheese nachos, bro, on deck. No games, no prisoners. I'm right here with Jeremy. Say hi, Jeremy. Hi. I got him a pizza, guys. Check that out right there. Look at that bad boy. All right, so you guys saw the nachos, man. We're gonna get into those um, right away because you know they're gonna um, they're gonna get soggy. But um, I also got um, a hot dog right here. So check this bad boy out. Load it up, hot dog. You guys see it right there. Load it up. Put that bad boy right here. I also got wings. Wing, wing, wings, guys. Wing, wing, wings. Check these bad boys out, too. 50 cents for the wings. No games. No prisoners. Okay, let's go ahead and check it out. Let's go. Just going on the wings right now. Mmm. Mmm. The flavorness from the buffalo. Mmm. Mmm. Okay. Your boy. You know your boy got the napkins on deck. I got the Slurpee on deck. Favorite Slurpee. Oh. Flavored Slurpee. The blue one. Mm, I hardly ever have Slurpees anymore. They're super bomb, but enough with the talking. Let's get into the nachos. Look at these bad boys. The chili cheese. Mm. Chili cheese sloppy nachos. Mm. Yes. Mm. 7-Eleven Car Mukbang Yeah Let me go ahead and get the The hot dog on deck Check that bad boy out Look at that Mmm Mmm-hmm We got the Ketchup Onions Relish Jalapenos Mm. I need another wing. I got two flavors. Screw that. Let's bring out the. Let's bring out the regular. Here's the regular wings. Let's give them a shot. Those were buffalo. Here's the regular. Mmm. Mm hmm. Unfortunately, Seven Eleven doesn't have ranch, but they sure do have hot dogs. Mm. Wow, 
Rancho today. I want to talk about cyberbullying. What it is, if it's wrong. But damn, am I going in, guys? Want some nachos? Mm -hmm. Chili cheese nachos? Yep. I'm gonna give him some chili cheese nachos. Just get another hit real quick. Pass it back to my boy. Mm. Here we go. Good. Right or right. Mm. So, cyberbullying is a form of like basically bullying, um, but it's like online. You get me? Online. Real quick, let me show you. These are the spicy ones, the spicy wings. So it's like basically like a form of bullying, but like online, you know what I mean? Mm. It's like you do it, it's like the same way. You're degrading the person, but... Mm. Wow. But you're doing it electronically, online. You know, it could be leaking someone's personal information, it could be degrading someone's, uh, defame, defaming someone, talking about them, degrading them, degrading their family, their kids. You know what I mean? And people think that cyberbullying is not at the same level of actual physical bullying, but it is because you know what? Especially if you do it with a significant amount of people, some people are weak. When it comes to that kind of degrading defamation, and there's people out there who, you know, commit suicide. Mm. Wow. That commit suicide. You know, over this over this cyberbullying, you know what I mean? To sit there. I want to do that to somebody. You should be ashamed of yourself, you know what I mean? You should be ashamed of yourself, ashamed of the person that, that you're becoming, the person that you're choosing to be. You know what I mean? Nobody deserves that. You know what I'm saying? Nobody deserves that. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't matter, you know, what a person's done. It doesn't matter what a person's done, you know what I mean? Um, there's people out there who, you know, who, who can't handle that. There's people out there who, who, will, who, who are not strong enough mentally, who, who will kill themselves. You know what I mean? Over something like that. There's been plenty of cases accountable where people have committed suicide over cyberbullying. Cyberbullying is against the law. Wow. Cyberbullying is against the law. There are laws that prohibit that. You know? And the people who continuously do that you know you're 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 not happy with yourself you know you're not happy with yourself you know you must have a miserable life to sit there and want to do that every day to somebody you know what i mean and the thing is that karma is real you know the people that participated in in, in the people that participate in cyberbullying you know if there's like one person that's the leader and you have all these people participating karma's real and the degrading that you do to that person is bad energy and negative energy energy excuse me that will come back to you it will come back to you. Oh my goodness. That's not okay. Mm. It's so sad every year, kids take their lives take their lives over stuff like that you know it's so sad every year kids take their lives totally totally i am totally totally against cyberbullying degrading people online defama defaming someone but you know what if you're a victim of it and you respond to it and you bully them back is that okay Or is that not okay? Let's say you 
are a person and you're be you're becoming you're you're being degraded. Your family is, you are, your kids. Does that make you any better to respond and degrade the other person? Mm. A lot of you are going to be like, yeah, hell yeah. I want to fucking respond, you know? I want to, um, I want to retaliate. But in reality, is that the right choice? Sometimes it is. Sometimes you have to respond for it to stop. In severe cases of obsession and, you know, complete, complete mental obsession, um, complete emotional obsession, you have to respond. You know, because if you don't, it won't stop. The person is that mentally sick that they have become so involved in wanting to be in your life that unless you respond, it won't stop. You know what I mean? It's difference between, you know, talking about somebody for a week and talking about somebody for half a year. You get me? I mean, come on. That's no longer bullying. That's obsessive. That's severely obsessive behavior. It's not normal. You know, you might say, well, yo, what's normal these days, you know? Bro. That's not normal, okay? Seriously. Wow. I forgot to text my girl. Let her know that I'm bringing her wings. Dang it, hold on. You know, um, so, you know, if you're someone out there and, you know, you're a bully or you know your kids are bullies or you've been, your kid has been caught up for bullying or you once were, or you were a victim of it. Let me know your thoughts. I'm extremely interested in knowing your thoughts. Mm. These wings are pretty massive, guys. Mm. I love wings. How about you? Mm. One thing I can say, the things you do to others will come back to you. May not be today, may not be tomorrow, may not be next year, but you'll pay. You'll pay for the hurt that you cause others. You'll pay for the defamation, the humiliation, the degrading, disrespecting people's kids, their, their wives, their girlfriends, their fiancés. You may not give a F now, but you'll pay some other way. Might be in a different way. Might be in the same way. Might be a future relationship. You know, and some people, the only way they can sleep at night is by doing that to others. Because they're so hurt inside that as sad as it is, they they excel from deep from 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 negativity. I could not surround myself with that much negativity every day for months. I could never do it. Wow, that's so much energy. That's so much negative energy. That's bro, you're putting negative energy in your body. You're going to sleep like that every night. It's degrading your soul, your mind, your well-being, your quality of life. You got to be a very hateful vengeful person to want to degrade someone every day for months weeks days sometimes years wow
you know. But that's the world we live in. You know, unfortunately, some people lose their lives. Some people lose their lives over that. And it's so sad, man. I, I, you know, it's so sad, man, that some of these kids, people, they don't even reach out for help, man. That's the worst part. They just take their life, you know? Rest in paradise to all the people and all the kids who've taken their lives over bullying, whether it's physical or cyber. Rest in paradise, man. That's so sad, man. If that would ever happen to my kids, man, and I couldn't do nothing about it and I wouldn't be able to find out and that were to happen to me, I would be devastated. I would be filled with devastation, anger, you know. I would be so, so lost. But I guarantee you one thing. If one of my kids was ever getting bullied in school and came to me, you best believe that I'm going to fight for my kids. Not only physically. I mean, I will go to that school and I will raise a living hell to make sure that my kid or my daughter or my son don't ever have to experience that. And I will stay on top of it as much as I can. I will never brush it away. I will never brush it away because you never know. You never know what your kid is capable of. You never know what could happen. You never know. You know what I'm saying? And um, got wings safe for my girl right here. Got all kinds of flavors. She gonna fall in love. Mm, she's gonna have to. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna see if I throw them in the. Uh, throw them in the um, the oven, conventional oven. Warm them up. I even got more. But she's got. She's gonna end up. Oh, I didn't even. I only tried one of these. Let me try another one. But you know. You know, if you guys watch to the end of this video, excuse me, hashtag on the bottom of this video, stop bullying. Hashtag stop bullying. The world is a negative place. Mm, excuse me. The world can be a negative place. We must protect our kids, ourselves, everyone that we can from humiliation and degrading by these evil people who choose to hurt others with words or physicality. Thank you so much for watching to the end. No one deserves to be bullied, ever. And if you're a person that lives with that much hate in your life, may God forgive you and may God bless you and may God guide you in the right direction. Wow. That was banging. I said what I had to say. We killed the 7-Eleven mukbang. I was going to get more things, but I got wings, hot dogs, and cheese nachos, slurpees. I think that's enough. <laughs> this is your boy from the G family. If nobody loves you, G family loves you. If you stay to the end, make sure you guys type. Hashtag stop bullying. Give me your opinions down below. Let me know how you feel, what you think, man. All right? We're going to be out of here. We killed it. Good, Jeremy? Yep. We murdered it. Say bye. Bye. See you guys later, man. Peace.